as a single mom, I think we should uh, not look backwards and then you know uh, regret with what had happens to us. Instead, we have to move on, break the chain. You know, everything that happens, there must be a reason. I want to break the chain, and I hope it stop from me. It, it won't happen to my son. If you wanna make the world a better place, take a look at yourself and make that change. Hi, I'm Rima. I'm 47, and I am free food for all volunteer. After my divorce about 11 years ago, I start everything new again with Dani, with my son. So uh, we moved back to Yishun. Life was hard at that time because when we were staying in Malaysia, we have very comfortable place, big space by ourselves. When we shifted back to Singapore, we are staying uh, in one room. Uh, with no bedroom, so it's quite a big change. So my son selalu cakap, oh mommy, I malu, you know, I stay in one room. So uh, I always tell him, it's okay Danny. this is a part of life. Sometimes you are up, sometimes you are down. That's when I started to, to encourage him to help others. So uh, after, you know, pulling Danny doing uh, charity work with me, helping others, he understand, you know, uh, life better. When I started shifted over here, most of the neighbours, they closed their doors and then you can hear in the middle of the night, the neighbours are fighting, they shout or scream, you know, among their families or friends and then it's quite scary, lah, especially uh, for my son to witness this kind of situation. So, uh, with free food for all coming over, it makes a lot of difference. You know, we say hi to each other. We we have our own group chat and then we say good morning. In my group chat, there are about more than 90 plus neighbours over here. So basically, we know, especially the elderly, we, with this communication, we can uh, also assist the elderly who stay staying alone by themselves. So for our 15th floor neighbours, we try to send her food like almost every day, especially during Ramadan. So she doesn't have that, uh, the trouble to cook for herself or anything. So sometimes, you know, as a bed reader, she will pass the keys through the window and then uh, one of our volunteers will just uh, send the food through the window and then if it's heavy stuff, she will pass the key to us and then we open up the door and send the food inside the house. We do have fridge downstairs, the community fridge where we work closely with Chompang CC. So uh, this fridge actually is open to public and uh, this fridge operates like I would say like more than four times a week. Uh, yeah. So every Friday we have groceries, fresh uh, vegetables, fruits and sometimes like fish, chicken and any other days we have also fruits that we work together uh, with uh, Fridge Restock Singapore. Um, I don't find any pressure to settle down. To me, uh, our emotional is very important than anything else. So I always make him feel safe at home and always uh, talk to him. We have very open communication. So anything happen, I will make sure I'm the first one to know. To you know, even how bad it is, be open to me. You know, mommy is always uh, there for you. The most important thing is uh, my son is very stable with his emotional. Yeah. There are things you know, as a single mom, you you couldn't do. You know, as he's growing up stage, of course he needs a father figure to guide him. I'm blessed that my brother-in-law is helping us to guide him. Even like my dad, tell him that you know, as a boy you should do this, as a mature boy you should be doing this. So it helps me a lot. Looking back at what ha happened to me, I really uh, give myself a pet lah. You know, I went through hardship and also um, uh, Danny. You know, Danny really went through uh, all those hard time with me and. Uh, to get a moral support from him himself, who is who is boy at very young age, is really uh, it motivates me a lot to move on, yeah, to have a better life. For all single mothers out there, uh, don't look back and just move forward. Focus on your goal, small goals or big goals. Keep on going.